Alrighty. Good day, internet peoples. It's time for the last arcade stream of mine before the end of the year. Because this weekend is going to be very busy. I think that's that's pretty obvious, though. <laughs> I think most people will be taking this weekend off for stuff. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm trying out studios in OBS Studio, which means I've got two different streams, or two different screens on my screen. And I can switch between them with a transition. I could choose what's going to happen next. Which is weird, because I've never pushed this button before. But let's see if it works. I'm not even sure if it'll work or not. Um, okay, let's do the transition. Bam! Did it work? Can you guys see the game now? Like, because that's like, I haven't even tested that. That's just the first time I pushed that button. I think it's supposed to work. Alright, it looks like it worked, so we're chilling. Alright, cool. Um, so... Uh, in fact, I don't even want that scene. I can switch to this other scene. Hold on, let me just... Ooh, look at this nice transition. Brilliant. Okay, cool. So, um... Yeah, hello everybody. I hope everybody had a really awesome uh, Christmas or whatever other holidays are going on right now. Um, I had a good weekend. I've been busy all the time and I will continue to be busy all the time until, like, maybe a couple weeks from now. Like... Maybe, like, the end of next week I'll be able to stream a bit more. Um, but things are super hectic all the time. Just, there's there's lots of stuff, you know, with families, with friends, whatever. Um, which, again, is pretty expected. So, uh, you'll be seeing a little bit less of me during this time. And then hopefully by mid-January I'll be able to get right back into the sort of groove that I've been normally doing. Where I can stream at least three times a week, if not just completely randomly. Um, so... That's pretty much the news for me and everything. Um, I, th I think for the most part, um, there hasn't been any news in game. It's just everybody's been playing the video game uh, over the holidays a little bit more. There's no arenas. Like, the cross-server arenas just don't... They don't exist anymore. They remove them uh, temporarily, but they remove them at the time where volume is very high. So this is not really the smartest decision um, but uh, it was meant so that people would not get the AFK bug and, and be banned from arenas for 24 hours at a time. Um, I questioned the value of that on the forums before they even came out with it, but it was a thing, whatever. It's, it's where we are now. They also took away the drenched arena, but I think they'll bring that back at some point just due to popular demand, so we'll see. Uh, but it was kind of, uh, that was foreseen that it would go away. Unfortunately, I, I was left with only 77 mirror fragments, which I went to the forums, apparently everybody's left with like 77 mirror fragments. But I did miss a couple days there. Um, and then I couldn't turn it in in time on the last day. Like, I didn't realize it would be gone at midnight, so... Unfortunately, just because of that, I was left out of luck and can't get the, uh, the, the, the last storage chest. But if you're like me, maybe hold on to these for a little bit, and due to all the DDoSing and everything, maybe we'll get some 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 sort of reward uh, to sort of uh, maybe give us one or two days of these mirror fragments uh, as, as maybe a compensation for every every much or all the different issues that people have been having so uh, yeah that's that's pretty much all the stuff so like I don't know what we're gonna do today because honestly I've tried to queue arenas I never get queues now for any of these gladiator arena I can I can do that today probably um, I'm actually a little bit curious about Gladiator Arena, so I think I'll, I'll be queuing that up a bit. But uh, as for all these other arenas, man, I get nothing. <laughs> nothing. Zip. Not even when people are saying in faction chat to queue up for this stuff. Uh, people were only really queuing up for the Water Gun Arena the last few days, but now that that's gone, I haven't gotten anything at all. So uh, it's a shame, but this was expected. I mean, this is kind of this was the obvious thing that was going to happen once you rip away cross server arenas is that people lose the motivation to play. So that's kind of where we are right now. We'll see what we can do today in terms of stream content. I think I'm just going to be chilling, talking to people, hanging out with folks before the end of the year. So maybe it'll be a little bit of a shorter stream. We'll see. I do want to give away the rest of the stuff that I need to give away before the end of this month, which I have a couple days for. So we'll do that. There's not too much stuff. Um, so we'll do that uh, just kind of randomly. Definitely before the end of the stream, we'll give something away at least. Um, that's just kind of usual because I don't like making my streams very giveaway focused. But that's kind of the plans for today. We'll see how it goes. Now I can actually go to the chat and see what you guys are saying. Uh, Jim P, you're saying fake internet because you can't use it for anything streamy. That's just something we were talking about before. Okay, I got you. Fair enough. You're in Belize. Wow. Nice. Wow. Oh, interesting getaway there. Hopefully uh, you had a good time there. 
Uh, X Champion saying, you know, a bunch of people with that AFK Arena bug, uh, but they could have at least queued. They could at least queue arenas then. Now you're lucky to get anything other than glads. Yeah, no, this this was a bad idea. This and uh, period dot. This was a bad, bad, bad idea. <laughs> like I, I, I don't know. But whatever, they went with it, so we're kind of stuck at this position now. Hopefully they've learned from their mistakes here, but, you know, that's questionable because this is kind of a obvious... I think anybody should have seen this one coming, but okay, whatever. I'm not going to complain about these things because there's no point in complaining. Most we can do is complain in person or you know, on a forums or in, in Discord or whatever. whatever. Point out the issue and hope it never happens again. Um... Yeah, so, otherwise, I'm... I, I'm struggling to think if there's any, like, crazy news or anything that, that came out of, like, this stream last week. I, I don't... Or the other week. I, I don't I don't think there was, right? Or it was last week, or whenever it was. I don't think there was. Yeah, I think we're just playing video games this, like, this entire time, because everybody's kind of... Everybody's kind of, you know, got the break, uh, so people are a little bit more active doing stuff, I guess. I haven't been around too much, so I don't know. Uh, but we'll do Mist Marrow, of course. We'll see how many people actually go there on a Thursday that most people probably have off because, uh, you know, if people are in, in college or whatever, I'm assuming that everybody has this time off. Um, Jim P. Frank got you a Nutcracker costume. All right, that's cool. Um, I have been spending as much labor as I can trying to, you know, open up those boxes because I have just haven't been around lately to use the labor for anything else. So do I have any of those? I actually don't even have any of those Nutcracker things. Which is weird, because I've been opening hundreds of those. Like, hundreds, thousands and thousands of labor of that stuff. Um, oh, maybe we'll give away another one of these glowing candy canes. Yeah, because I don't want this thing. Maybe somebody else will. We'll see. And it was not really popular demand when I gave it away last time, but luckily the person who won it was on our server, so it was easy to trade away. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the plan for today. Did you get to go? All right, have a good new year. Thanks for stopping by. Good day. Alright, so we've got Miss Marrow in like half an hour here. Um, also, man, the the Steam sale happened. Oops, the Steam sale happened. So, like, that's... See, here's the thing. I got as, as my, like, uh, uh, Christmas presents or holiday presents or whatever, I got a whole bunch of new controllers, which are really cool and sleek, and I love them. Um, why do I need four controllers? Not because I have an Xbox, because I don't. Um, and I don't plan on getting an Xbox. <laughs> but because these are such, such nice controllers, and I just want to have them. No. Uh, it's because I, 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 I've been, like, I've been creating a, um, like, the Steam library of couch potato games to play with my friends. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so I just bought up, like, a whole bunch of couch potato games that were, like, really, really nice on sale. I don't know if I'm going to ever be streaming this stuff or if it's relevant at all, but I have that capability, so if, if my friends ever want to just sit on stream and play games like that, uh, it's really fun. There's so many good games that I got, and that would be really entertaining, I think, but I don't want to put anybody on, on, on the spot for that, so we'll see. Uh, maybe my girlfriend and I will play a little bit, because I know that she wanted to play a few things on stream that really made her happy, and, and, and um, so we'll see. Maybe, maybe she's up for that at some point. Uh, Besides that, I got, like, Everspace, which is an awesome game, um, which I've been playing a lot off-stream. I uh, really like that game just because it's, like, it's a roguelike space game, which, uh, if you know me, I love roguelike games. Those are really nice. Oh, hello. There's a dude here. Oh, they're just kind of chilling. He's just hitting them with one ability. Who else is out here? This guy. Hey, we can say hello to these guys. I, I mean, the Defiler might be a big problem. Okay, he's using that. Ooh. I don't want to. I don't want to reveal myself because the other guy is probably going to attack me, and that other guy is going to cause a lot more issues than this dude. So I have to find the other guy and take him down really quickly. Other than this, I think I'm just going to like farm mobs. Maybe just hang out with these guys here. Get a few kills. Where's that guy? He should be stealthing soon. Or re-stealthing soon. Oh, he's going for him. There he is. Three, two, one, zero. Oh no! 
Ah, uh, he's dead now. No! Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Okay, well, I, uh... I may have killed those guys really quickly. <laughs> Actually, that was kind of ridiculous in terms of how much, uh... How much damage I just did there, without even... Nope. Oh no, this is already... Shit. Wait, what? How did he get here so quickly? Oh, I guess it was somebody else. That's fine. That's a bummer that I couldn't use the... Uh... Is he really parked here? Oh, I see he's parked here because people are trying to steal his stuff. Now oh, that makes sense. Alright. I can kill this guy at least. He's buffed though. Wait, what? What? Oh, he's really not. He does not want to fight this at all, huh? Yeah, they do not want to fight me. Okay, that guy's over here stealth. That's fine. So I'm going to go and find that guy. Kill him really quickly. So that guy really wants to use freezing steps, I know. He's a big fan of using freezing steps to win. Which, if I'm going to be fighting a 3v1... I'm going to have to stop people from doing all that sort of shenanigans. But if I'm going to be fighting 3v1, then I have to be prepared for it, so... Raven Spine will less, at least let me maneuver around a little bit. Should I just kill that guy? Oh, Brandon's going to be a problem. The Dark Runner. Dude. Oh, he's over there, actually. He's fighting his own team, so I'm going to go this way they just saw the smoke over there, which is good. So I probably could kill him, actually. In fact, it's kind of a challenge for me to, to tr just try that. Because um, I got to see exactly what my damage potential is with all this crit and stuff. But I don't want to get jumped on myself by the other dude. Oh, there he is. Okay. Hey! You're not getting anywhere. What? I have, like, really bad maneuverability right now. Okay. Where's Brandon? Oh, he's over there. Why is he bloodlusted, actually? That I don't know. And Brandon, I believe, is... I was using melee attack. Okay, that's fine. Urgency. He's using readout. I know, big deal there. I was kind of hoping that they'd all be fighting me, but maybe that's just not happening here. There he is. That's that dude coming back. So I should be able to see his. Um, actually, if he's using that mount, I'm going to be able to aggress every time. So I actually want him to come here. No, he's not coming here. The reason is because when you get out of stealth on that mount, you have two seconds of uh, what's essentially global cooldown, and you can't do anything during that time. So he can stun me during that time, but you know, from the mount. But he then has to wait to get out of stealth to be able to do anything else. No, never mind, he's just hanging out in the new... Oh, it's somebody else, actually. With a much higher gear score, Spell Singer. And also 1v4 if they all decided to actually come out here and try to fight me. 4, 3, 2, 1. Come here. Oh, I'm actually... I'm too relaxed right now, actually. Like, I, I need to die a little bit so that uh, I'm back to normal. I don't know why they're all just hanging out there, though. I don't want to get jumped by four people, but... I mean, nobody wants to get jumped by me either, so... <laughs> I guess I get it. Oh well. Oh, he's going for it. 
It's not really advised, yeah, to fight there. Yep, that's exactly what I thought would happen just happened. Uh, he teleported and then he stopped. I think that I caused some kind of a snare, but I'm not really sure. Alright, there's still two people there, but that's it for these guys. I don't know why they wanna why they don't wanna fight. Maybe I'll just go into Gladiator Arena. That's probably better. There we go. Hey, instantly. Nice. I don't know if we'll get a potted up person or not, but let's ruin my Gladiator Arena score. I'm at least okay with that. Oh wait, everything's on cooldown. Oh, never mind. We're good, we're good. Alright, who do we got? It's already started. We got a Spell Singer with a ridiculously high gear score and a pet out, so... That's cool. Oh my god, the Frigid Tracks! Oh my god! That's crazy! Okay. Jeez, the Frigitrex was ridiculously fast. Okay. Alright. I get it. Dead. Okay. So that's how I have to kill him pretty much every single time. I don't have any choice. No! Oh my god. Fuck that, man. <sighs> oh god. Can I can I at least Yes, we're good. Oh my god. Jeez. These freaking one-shot builds, man, with the legendary mythic weapons. They are no good. But then again, I guess I'm like that too. <laughs> He's essentially just me that's fighting me. Me fighting myself. Different builds, though. Why? New best only got one Kira's badge for that? Oh. Really? Oh, somebody just got a Scoundrel's Moon. Wow. Cody wants to be participating in the stream, of course. Uh, hopefully something more interesting happens, because, again, with the, um, with the arenas being down, it's, it's kind of... Like, it's, it's hard to actually find stuff to do that's interesting. Even for myself, honestly. Like, stream or not. I want to be able to go and find stuff to do that's fun. But, um, it's really hard to do that when... The only real content is, like, doing dungeons at the moment. Um, for me, at least. And, and doing whatever world events are happening. So, like, we'll go, obviously, to Mr. Mirror in a little bit here. But, um... Yeah, I guess I just haven't been around too long, so... Or, or around too much lately. Just because of the holidays and all the things that are going on. Alright, so that guy seems like he might want to fight. There's a couple other people here as well. Uh, I don't want to really get ganked by the uh, by the Dark Runner here. Let's see what he's got. Uh, Divine Ionod Nodachi. So it's probably got a little bit less damage than what I have. But um, it's a big enough issue. Because obviously I'm, I'm just a piece of paper. And if he catches me out in the open, I'm dead. All right. Oh, pfft. okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. I kind of want to watch this fight, though. Uh, just to see if Violet can kill him or not. So he locked him in, which is interesting. Uh, why don't I give? Why don't I give him a little bit of an assist? Oh, he's good. He's fine. There we go. Bam! There's an assist for you. Uh, I'm gonna feel really bad about this. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! Okay. Oh, I, I was using the wrong one.
No! He teleported away. Oh well. I guess I have friends here then. We're chilling. Oh yeah, so I'm selling all my potions. So if anybody wants them for cheap, I guess you can do that. Um, I don't really want to kill the longboard because... Whatever, let it be here. Let him, let him despawn it after a little while. I wouldn't want that, at least. Go go despawn your thing, man. Go despawn your thing. There he is. Alright, cool, he despawned it. Yeah, I don't actually use buffs in the slightest, so I put away some for, like, sieges and stuff, but the rest I'm just gonna sell. Uh, especially because I really still believe that buffs shouldn't... The old buffs should not be in this game. I think everybody's on the same page for that. But um, hopefully they'll they'll remove them eventually. All right, so I'm probably gonna get ganked here. I uh, uh, where's Viler actually? Did Viler stealth? Oh, he did. Okay, so maybe Viler's hanging around me. He's just waiting for me to take some damage. Yeah, I'm gonna trust that Viler is helping me out here. Also, is it, is it still double honor? Oh, hello. Ah, uh, it's immune. Wait, he used it twice? That's weird. He used the immunity thing twice, or maybe he didn't actually use it the first time. Alright, so Viler's probably still just sitting here waiting. Uh, if he had used bubble. Hello! Alright, that's fine. Wait, where's Viler? Uh, I didn't pop up. Okay, now we can aggress. Nope, that doesn't work against uh, melees, unfortunately. Oh no! Oh, now he's dead. No, not Curse of Thorns! Okay. Okay. I figured Viler would pop out at some point there. I think he got the first kill though, so that's good. Right now it's a 2v2 though, and um, it's uh, two very tanky classes against myself and uh, Dagger Spell, who are two very assassiny people. Uh, we have a little bit higher gear score. Uh, I think I am sort of. Uh, I've got the insane crits, but I'm incredibly easy to kill, so at least I've got that. Grants immunity to Yola's grudge for one minute. Oh, he actually used that against me? Wait, that's awesome. I actually really like that he used that. All right, oh, now I'm dead. Yeah, there's there's nothing to do here. <laughs> it's one God Swift that'll kill me against him. But, uh, well, that's how it goes, right? Oh, got enough frigid tracks. Oh, of course. Oh, it didn't work. I actually wanted to use the. Okay, well, he's running away. Oh, no, the Nightmare Grinder didn't work. Okay, let's see if his friends are going to save him. Most likely they will, right? What? Oh my god, dude. One hit. Jeez. Oh, he used the lightning meteor strike that it instantly kills me. Oh my god. Ah, it's crazy, man. People with the, the most insane gear. Uh, just doing the crits. Can't stand up against them, unfortunately. Hey, Epic Smiley. How's it going, man? How's your holidays been? There's nothing I could do against this guy, I don't think. Whoop. No, not again! Oh, come on. God damn it, man. <laughs> Jeez, 10k gear score. That severely uh, uh, is greater than anything that I had against those guys I was fighting. But this guy can one shot me with anything lightning, meteor strike, one god's whip, anything will kill me. So I don't want to really fight him. How am I doing? My bird pretty much answers that. 
I'm doing fine now. Christmas is ruined by the fact that uh, we don't have <laughs> we don't have the cross server arenas, unfortunately. Um, which I mean is technically true. I mean this was like the perfect time for us to have cross server arenas and really fun stuff going on, and uh, it's just completely ruined by the fact that um, well we don't we don't have those 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 capabilities, unfortunately. Um, all right. I don't know if I want to fight against somebody with 10k gear score. I was fighting people with like 1k gear score last. Now I have to fight somebody with 3k more. Ah, uh, who can one shot me? I mean, anybody can one shot me, but not with one god's whip. Um, that's just what his gear has on me, on most people. Um, now I want to do the uh, gladiator arena. Gladiator arena, I think a little bit more. The DDoS did stop, so I guess there is that, that good stuff. That's true, Epic Smiley. We've at least got that going for us, but, um, yeah, but, you know, it's the cross-serve arenas and the naval arena, it, the fact that we don't have these, I mean, we, we have the naval arena, but nobody's going to go into it. It's just, like, it ruins these double weekends, like the double Curios badge weekends. We can't use them at all. We get nothing. So, what's the point, you know? So, it, it sucks that that's the case, but what can you do? Ugh, I do not want to fight against this guy. Look at that. Viler taking full one-shot damage. Viler, who actually is in cloth. But this guy has a legendary Aranar Scepter with full crit damage. Ugh, and a shield. That's ridiculous. And full mythic. Holy crap. He's pretty close to mythic buff if he turned all these down to something else. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to fight that guy. Let's fight somebody else who's a little bit more evenly geared. Ooh, this guy wants to queue balanced arena. Let's do it. Sparring arena. Gotta wait, gotta wait two minutes. So if Aerosol wants to queue Balanced Arena, I'm all up for it, man. He might be a fun fight. Uh, Epic Smile, you think you're just going to go Dark Runner? You like tanking? But, um, what'd you say? When you're trying by yourself fighting groups. Yeah, well, I mean, by yourself, it's not really what this game is about, right? The game is about fighting in, uh, in, uh, in a group in raid versus raid. That's kind of what it's, you know. And, and honestly, we do need more tanks, too. In general, tanks are really, really helpful, but uh, it's, it is insanely hard to gear them. And going Dark Runner or some kind of an easier class might just be the way to help you get gear faster so that you can do other stuff. So maybe, maybe you take that route as well. this guy? Uh-oh. Low 55. Alright. Guess they didn't get killed by anybody, so that's cool. What am I ranked in Sparring Arena anyways? Am I going to get any rewards in a day here? Probably not, right? Skirmish Arena. I'm ranked 90 in Sparring Arena. Eh. I get 50 Curios badges. Or I can just play a whole bunch of Sparring Arena and get 50 Curios badges. Like, I'd rather just do that. Problem is, actually, getting a Q is impossible. Alright, Q up. Let's do Sparring Arenas. Uh, Epic Smiley, since you don't have a gear uh, guild doing dungeons or anything like that, you have to rely on yourself to gear. Might as well pick an easier class. Yeah. Whatever, Whatever's fun for you, that's the important part. Whatever's more comfortable for you. Uh, but yeah, I want to go into 1v1 sparring arenas with uh, Aerosol. Aer is that his name? I don't even know his name. <laughs> Aerosol. Yeah, I'm just going to go with that. I think he plays Spellsinger, which shouldn't be too hard for me to fight, but he knows what he's actually doing. So, um, for that reason, 
it might be a more interesting fight. Normally against spell singers, it's it's pretty easy to fight, but uh, uh, he might actually just go an enigmatist or something, just to fight in one v ones since those are proficient in one v ones. Now, on the other hand, I might get the Defiler here in the 1v1 Sparring Arenas, who's also kind of hanging around here somewhere. Um, if that's the case, it should be okay. I'm playing Executioner, and with my Executioner build, it's a little bit easier to fight against Defilers. I may have to take Retribution for the immunity to fear, just because of how much fear they can pump out. But, um... Now, that would be too easy. I'd rather lose twice than do that. Especially since that is not going to exist in 4.5, this immunity to fear. So I may as well start practicing without that now. Alright, but anyways, he, he asked me to... He said to queue up for Balanced Arena, so I'm queued up. I don't know why he's not... No, Well, he's probably queuing, but... Um, it's probably just not putting us together, unfortunately. Yeah, no opponent found. Actually, that's strange. He should be queuing up. Unless he died, too. No, he didn't die. Uh, Epic Smiley, you're just wondering why people don't just uh, do Nui and Cargo runs. No mats, just labor and gold. Made 20 gold profit off the Nui and Cargo pack. It's because it takes so long. Uh, if you're going to do it on the the easy boat, the uh, the peace boat, then it's, you, you can only take one at a time, right? Unless you have alts. And then it also th it has the cost for the protection as well. And it just takes way too long. But, um, yeah, I, I, I would say that guilds would probably be doing those packs, because they're actually worth it now that the percent has lowered, and you can buy a pack for, like, 30 gold and turn it in for 60. So it, it's pretty easy to do. The problem is you have to go across the ocean, and depending on what server you're on, that might be harder to actually happen. I'm actually pretty okay with the system. With all the demand for charcoal... The price has gone down. <laughs> I mean, earlier today it was at four, uh, four gold uh, for a stack, or, or what is it, four gold per. So yeah, we see that the price is going back down. This is just the high point of charcoal happened only because of demand, and now it's going right back down. So uh, we should see it lower to maybe like 350 by you know a week or two. I mean, obviously the the charcoal is going to go up in price, but I think as things start to stabilize, it should be good. People were really like scared about the whole system saying oh my god you know we're doomed ah oh, fuck i got lancet i don't like this i forgot we're in sparring arena i forgot that we're actually in sparring arena this is really bad are you going are you going plate i'm gonna ask him if he's going plate because if he's going plate then then i'll go plate too nope okay leather okay i'll do leather then okay um dual wield he's not going plate so i'll do that all right, cool. We're chilling. Ah, that's the only problem in this arena is if you go play it against a melee. All right, he's gonna open up with uh, mirror mirror light, which is fine. I'm gonna super aggress because of that. No, I would really, I really wanted to use summon crows. No. Damn it! He's just gonna heal. Oh, I didn't actually trip him, which is weird. Now I tripped him. Ah, shackled, which is good. No, don't heal! I didn't actually silence him, which is really bad. But, unfortunately, he's just going to be able to... No! Oh, wow, I'm completely, like, stopped here. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was a really good hit. But I'm so close. No. Ah, come on. Yes. Come on. Oh, my God. That was ridiculous. Jeez. It's really hard to fight. He just couldn't get the last heal off, unfortunately for him. You know what this means, though? We have a really fun ability that we can use called this thing. Wait, what? Did it actually... It didn't go off. Oh, because it didn't happen in time! No! I ran out of abyssal charges! Ah, shit. 
I don't want this. No. He actually... Did that miss or something? Oh god. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, this is really bad. Okay. Oh, he's not shackled. That was horrible for me. Nope. God damn it. Can I actually kill him in time here? Okay, I did manage a trip. Nah, he's healing. Okay, that's it. I lost that one. Unfortunately, I lost that. Okay. Come on! Nope! Nope! Come on! No, if I get the shackle off, we'd be fine, but he parried it. Damn it, the last second parry. Oh, the last second parry, man. If I had just gotten the shackle off, he'd be dead. Oh, man. Feels bad, man. Oh, I don't want to fight against Liberation. Let's just do the right thing and not fight against Liberation. He just popped Battle Focus too, which is a really, really bad idea. Um, but I need to kill off those buffs. He, he popped him really far away, so I'm going to punish him for that. Six, five, four, three, two. Oh, no! It was just out of range! Oh, no. And I've already used my... Oh, man. Okay, he's shackled. Oh, I I'm dead. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Uh, caused the trip. Whoa, that was actually really crazy. I've never seen that before. Okay, he's shackled. Ah, damn it, he's healing up again. No, 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 no. Nope. Okay, I didn't trip him. Oh, I did trip him. Man, this is always down to, like, the last second here in these fights against him. But that's, again, only because... Damn it. Man, if I, I would have... I could have won the second fight. It was so easy. But a parry, man. It's just parry. Ah. That fucking parry. <laughs> he says the same thing. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, uh, that was. You parried a Shadow Smite! Uh. <laughs> oh man. That's funny. I'm gonna keep queuing up. Hopefully, we get him again. Oh god. He said the same thing, too. He says, I know, right? I think he knew that it was something bad. But uh, anything would have killed him. The Shadow Smite wasn't gonna kill him because it was from the front, but um, I wasn't trying to kill him. <laughs> I was trying to disable him. And um, it just got parried, uh, so that sucks. Oh man, Ugh. that's a bummer. All right, let's most likely lance it again. <sighs> There's so such hard fights. All right, go fight him again. Damn it! What could I have done differently? I don't think there was anything I could have done differently. Um, but anyways, I'm a little bit out of practice because I haven't uh, I haven't been here for a little while, so let's just say it's that. <laughs> let's say that I've just been gone for like a week, so uh, I'm just out of practice. And actually, fighting against Lancet is usually the best practice for me, and I think my bird agrees. Okay. Whew. All right, let's play super aggressively here. Oh wow, that was actually really good. Okay. Okay, that's fine. He's not popped Liberation yet, but he's going to do a ton of damage to me because of that. Wait, how did that not hit? Okay. Now he's popped Liberation. That's bad. Ah! Can I get a stun? Yes. Oh, I used Shadow Smite and I wasn't supposed to. That was a really bad idea. No! Come on! God damn it. Ah! Ah, okay, I got him. But... Nope! He's the... 
Use the med- Okay! Come on! One time! No! God damn it! He was so close to death! Oh my god. If he's not healing, obviously, I'd kill him every single time, but jeez! Oh. God damn it, man. There's such close fights. They are insanely close fights. Here, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, it's perfect. No! No! Okay, I don't care. God damn it. No, he... No, that was really... That was... I'm doing stupid things right now, actually. Okay. Perfect, that missed. He's healing. Oh, I tripped him. I can't do anything about it, though. Ah. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. Damn it. Jeez. They're really tough fights. Alright, I keep going. God damn it, that first round, he was so close to death. I'm cons It's like insanely close fights every single time, but he's always going to edge me out in terms of the win because of the healing, obviously, because he can he can give himself back a ton of health. Um, not to mention that, obviously, Aromancy has its insane bonuses, so, um, you know, he can get out of stun and shackle and uh, all these good things. So. Uh, and for that matter, I made a lot of mistakes, too, because I keep, um, I keep trying to shackle him while he gets liberation off, and, and that's not what I'm supposed to be doing, so... Uh, I make mistakes in that sense, too. Oh, I, I did want to fight Aris, uh, Arisal, though, but uh, it doesn't seem like he's queuing up, or he wasn't queuing up earlier when, when he wanted to. So I'll just give Lance at five wins. That's fine. At least that's going to a friend. Maybe he'll buy me something uh, in return. I'm going to actually tell him that. You, you owe me for all of these free wins. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna say free, because he earns them, obviously. It's always a very close fight. Free? Okay, okay. Not free. <laughs> you do owe me, though. <laughs> okay, okay. Um... Shit. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Wait. Wait, what? Uh, I'm confused how... Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm confused how come the shackle didn't work, but... That's fine. Wait, did my bird just whistle? Cody, did you just whistle? Like a whistle whistle? Like a human? Oh, God. Unassailable proc, but luckily it was gone before... I need it. Come on. Oh, he's not shackled, though. He has liberation on. No, he's running away. He's gonna heal. No, don't heal. Fuck. God damn it. Ah. Uh, come on. No. Come. On. Okay. I'm not in a good position here. Come on. No. Come on. Okay, okay. I'm not in a good position here, but if I can just. Okay, I can shackle him. That's good. Nope. He's gonna heal himself again. Oh my god. Okay, I've silenced him. If I could just trip. Ah, god damn it. These are so hard fights, man. I nearly killed him like three times during that. <sighs> hopefully, hopefully, you guys can see the stress that I'm being put through in these fights just to try to win. Um, oh man, he's, he's doing really. Ah, oh, fuck off. I don't want to fight that. Nine, eight, seven. So I want to stay at about a 50 meter range. Three, two, one, zero. He's going to be opening up with, uh, so I know what I'm doing. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Because now... No! Unassailable! Whoa, whoa, that was a really good leech. Fuck, 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 fuck. What do I do? 
No, there's nothing I can do. Man. There's nothing I can do. No, god damn it. I can't do anything in these fights to win. Wait! No! No! That's... Okay, Shackle is off. No! Stop healing yourself, you bastard! No! God damn it! Oh my god. Okay, he's held, he's healed himself to complete full two times now. I literally did about 50,000 damage to him in this fight. Jesus. Ah. Oh man. It doesn't matter what I do. I, I can't edge out the fact that he keeps healing himself. Oh. What am I doing wrong that I can take advantage of? I know what I did wrong the first set of rounds. Because in the first set of rounds I was doing, I was trying to fight him through liberation, which is bad. But in every single s subsequent round, I think I'm performing exactly how I'm supposed to be. And the only problem is that if I catch him out, if he catches me stunned for even a moment, he'll go back to full health. I have to find a way to kill him. So, alright, he's coming in here with his ult. That's fine. Battle Mage. Sorcery, Defense, and Occultism. So that should be okay for me. I can play around that very easily because he doesn't have Aramancy. But he still has my uh, my one weakness, which is Defense. Or my one of two weaknesses, which is defense and aromancy, but he doesn't have aromancy. So I should be able to play through this just fine. Now, is he going to go plate? Well, technically he would go cloth, right? So we'll see what he ends up doing. It looks like he went leather. So I can pretty safely just use the strength uh, uh, damage thing. Uh, he's going to be super aggressive on this build. I know how that is. I've been there. Perfect. So I'm... Oh, wow. Oh wow, he's actually using... Okay. Oh. Oh! Uh-oh, that's not good. I forgot that the, um... Yeah, I forgot that the... I don't know, I, I guess it's just really tough to fight Occultism too. I forgot that it, because of urgency, you can use the Hell Spear every 12 seconds, so I have to keep that in mind. Wait, what? He's used Bridget Tracks? I haven't seen that before. From him. Now he's silenced, which is good. Um, man, that's really weird how that just doesn't always work. I don't want to fight that. Get out of there. Gotta use this as well. Ah, oh, no. Wait, he's actually immune. Ah, oh, no. He's actually immune to snare, so I can't actually trip him. That's fine. He actually got immune to snare. That was really, really bad for me. Because that means that I can't use my summon crows combo either. And the summon crows combo to reduce uh, accuracy is really powerful. Which is what I'm really trying to accomplish here. There we go. That's the combo that I was looking for. No! I think he actually missed his lightning. Oh god. He's using Curse Thorns. Only because I just use Curse Thorns. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Telekinesis was going off, and I was like, I have to be super prepared now in whatever direction my character is going to be facing in order to actually, um, in order to actually 
bell out of the way instantly. Because if I missed any opportunity there, I would have been dead. Uh, but if I had also tried to bell out of telekinesis, but my character was facing the wrong way, then I would have to spend a second to go and move my mouse over there and bell that direction. And in that time, he would have actually been able to do something to kill me. So I, I was really, really scared there about telekinesis. Not because I wasn't going to break out of it, but because he'd have a split second to uh, do some damage with Curse of Thorns. Um, Alright, let's keep queuing up, I guess. I've got one more. I guess he's putting in Gizmo Derp so that he gives me some free wins too. Free wins is what we both call it at each other. They're not free wins. They're actually really hard to get wins. But um, that's why he's coming here with Gizmo to give me my three wins now. Which will uh, equalize. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what he's doing. And that'll equalize the wins now between him and Lancet and, and Gizmo and me. And he's going to say that in chat, too. As soon as he wins the third time, or as soon as I win the third time, he's going to say, well, now we're even. And I'm going to say, yep, yeah, we are. You're right. I see what he's doing. I'm going to be using bruiser badges, though, because I actually really like these 1v1s. And because I haven't played for so long, this is, like, win or lose, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is just a really good way for me to practice again and get back into the mood of things. Not that I'm going to be taking the night. Ooh, okay, so using urgency. That's fine. Oh, 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 I don't want Frigid Tracks, no! Run! Ah, oh, Frigid Tracks is scary, man. Alright, now I can attack him. Oh, he's... He's really using all his buffs up. I don't like that. Oh! Wait! Th did it... It actually didn't work! No, 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 run away. Oh, I forgot that Curse of Thorns always works. Damn it. From an insane, insane distance. We did that at the exact same tick. That's really bad for me. No! Oh, I'm actually really sad about that. Oh well. Yeah, it doesn't make. Okay, I, there's no way I can, I can get out of this now, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no way I can get out of this. Yeah, he got me in the uh, defense occultism trap. And since he has the def the defense, since he has the. Um, Defense, he can put me in the defense trap whenever he wants, and that's the that's sort of the big deal. Wait, what? He actually Oh come on! He actually managed to deep freeze me. He actually because my character just like floundered over the God damn it. That's actually the worst case of RNG that I've ever seen. That's really bad. God fucking damn it! Seven health. He put me to seven health, and I put him to like a hundred. God damn it, man! I'm getting no just completely unlucky in these fights. But then again, okay, I need to th keep thinking to myself. I haven't played this game in a week. You know, I haven't played one v ones or anything in a week. I need to stop because he's been this entire. He's been here the entire time. I need to stop thinking that I can just perform well right away. I need to get that out of my head and just keep playing. And again, this is the sort of stress that everybody can get when my bird is literally just. Wants to go to sleep. You know what? That's probably what it is. Um, yeah, my bird wants to go to sleep. He's not even poking his head out. He just wants to. He wants it to be night. So let me go and do that really quick. We'll switch over to this screen because now I'm turning off the lights. But anyways, like I was saying, it's um. Yeah, I haven't been here for a week, so I really need to get it out of my head that. I'm going to suddenly do well, you know, I need to re-practice. And again, this is something that most people are going to be going through. 
like 99% of people, I know this is this, you probably all have been a part of the stress if you like PvP, and you go into 1v1 arenas, and it's like, you just get loss after loss, and it sucks, and it feels really bad, and it's always like, you know, in these cases, it's actually really fun close fights, but um, I have to expect that it's not going to be easy for me to get back in after just a week of not playing. So, here I am. We're still doing it. Still getting more practice with these insanely close fights. Oh god, I, I don't like that he does that. I really don't like that. Man. Fuck, Fitch tracks, man. No! No, 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 no! Man, he actually got me! Shit. Three, two... Oh, I can't fight this. I can't fight this. This sucks. Okay, now I can. No, 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 no. <sighs> Can't do anything about this, man. The defense combos are so good. God damn it. Actually, it's not the defense combos that are good. He's actually really easy to kill. I think the only thing that's really putting him over the edge is the Hell Spear. Because that gets me every single time. And his use of um, freezing steps is really... I mean, well, that's that's how 1v1s work, right? Look at that. Already at half health. And there's nothing I can do about it. I just need to get out of there. The Wraith is too powerful. Like, I, I have to consistently get away from whatever he's doing. And if I don't do that, I lose. So... Wait, what? Wait, I, I should have... Hold on, I thought that I shut that down. Alright, that's fine. Oh my god, it was stillness every... That was 100% a stillness that I got off, but... Okay, now he's trapped. He's healed. Oh my god. Come on. Okay. The wall up got the telekinesis off. I don't know why he used telekinesis there, but that wasn't the right that was not the right move for him. Uh, unless he was just waiting for uh, Curse of Thorns to go off, but uh, I had well up, but obviously he didn't know that I had well up. Oh, shit. Oh my god, that was so fucking lucky! No! Okay, now he's got way reduced accuracy. Oh god, he also uses potion too, so that's good. Fuck, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. No! No! God damn it, no! Come on! Shit, he even got the lightning meteor down. Ay, this is really tough fights. I keep losing constantly. Ay, feels bad, man. I'm just losing constantly against the same builds that are insanely powerful against me. At really close fights, though. It's just the, obviously the... Ah... They are really close fights, so I have to give myself credit that... I think the only reason I'm, I'm, I'm pissed is because the, the losses count for so much, right? Mostly because I'm being taken out of the... Uh, I'm already out of the top 100 here. I think that's the only reason I'm pissed. I don't really care about the, the per-server thing, because there's actually no per-server rewards anymore. You have to be 
in the top 100 of the full arena thing. But I mean, you can see how much they do this. I mean, this is this is Lancet. He's in top six. So for me to actually consistently take him down, oh, I was doing really well against him. I don't think anybody can question that. But um, it's just it's really hard to fight against players like that that use healing, that are argent, that you know are really taking advantage of their their uh, opportunities to heal themselves and put himself back up to. See, that's the thing is I don't think. Um, so in 4.5, they're heavily, heavily reducing health gain, like max health gain. And I think they're doing it to counter the exact issues of people having 30, 40k health and just going right back up to full consistently because healing is so powerful. So instead of nerfing healing, they're nerfing the max health cap and making it so that it's much harder to get 30k health or just not possible so that you just cannot consistently heal yourself back up to full. While healing can be powerful, it'll become less efficient in these cases. So uh, I kind of see what they're doing there. Um, yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll also be interesting to see how players like Lancet, for example, are going to be fighting after 4.5 um, because Argents in general are going to get insanely nerfed. Uh, anything with Aramancy is going to get insanely nerfed. Mostly Aramancy is getting insanely nerfed. Losing mobility, losing anti-CC, losing anti-shackle and silence. But the whole game is going to be different because of how hard it is to actually crowd control people. So we'll see. Maybe that maybe that doesn't even matter that they're lo that they're losing anti-CC because of the fact that um, just because of the fact that it's much harder to CC people in the first place. So we'll see. But. Um, yeah, with the health reductions though, like for example, health lift is only going to be like a 10 or 20 second move. It lasts 10 to 20 seconds, and it only works for everybody within like, uh, uh, you know, 15, 20 meter range, whatever it is. And so that's it, and it's got a minute and a half cooldown. So people won't be taking health lift unless they're like initiating into a fight, and just for the first few seconds, you're essentially giving everybody a shield for four sec or for for 10 seconds or whatever. Um, but that's like that just means that everybody now will not have 4k health going into a fight right all the time because health lift isn't going to work like that it's not just going to sit there the entire duration of the fight so they're doing things like that to nerf the maximum health capacity and um, again we'll kind of have to see how this this affects um, gameplay but i'm kind of looking forward to it obviously a lot of things that um they're nerfing, I don't really gain the benefits of too. There we go, I'm gonna lose again. <laughs> I'll give him more wins so that he can get a higher ranking in the arena. But, um, yeah, so so obviously I, like, I don't take advantage of max health at all, because I don't, I, I, I have a build that's insanely weak, right? It's, in, it's just a piece of paper with as little health as possible, so. Um, but, you know, people who are like, in the front lines of battle are going to find it much harder to actually survive, so we'll see how people deal with that. How did he actually heal himself there? Oh no, I used Shadow Spite really badly. No! Oh my god. I got really lucky there that uh, I was taken out of Snare so quickly. Or taken out of Sleep so quickly. That was the only reason that I won. Is because the Sleep wore off. Oh my god. How did he... He's actually really good. Fuck the oh my god, unassailable too. Okay, okay, that's fine. What? No, I, I really just want to kill you. Can I just kill you? Nah, uh, I don't think I can. Alright, I think he won this one. Yeah, I think he won this one. I didn't manage to trip him, but I don't think I'm going to be able to keep him there. Okay, that's fine. Alright, that's fine. That's no big deal. I kind of gave up in the middle of that fight because uh, I made a bunch of bad moves. 
Um, the unassailable allowed him to block the one ability that I have to impale him. Uh, and even then I was only trying to make Shrug it off um, go off. I was forcing Shrug it off to go off then and he ended up using it later when I really needed to uh, stop him. Um, I don't know why he keeps doing that. Now he doesn't have a bell. He's doing all these things that are gonna put me ahead. He doesn't wanna... Oh, that should have totally missed. Oh, man. Oh my god, a really, really good stun there. No! <laughs> god damn it! No, no, no. It was a really good shackle, but shit. Okay, I've got him cornered, literally. Can I actually do anything with that? Probably not. No, I can't. He's just, he's gonna keep healing himself. No! That was so bad, come on! Oh no, come on. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <sighs> I'm, I'm just having no luck here, honestly. Things are just always, like, here's the problem, if I make any mistakes, I lose. And, um, and I notice when I make a mistake, and I always, like, beat myself up over the fact that I'm making a mistake, and that's why I lost. Uh, when I really shouldn't be, because I'm playing very well, but uh, I'm doing all that I can in these cases. That's all that I can do. Uh, Haven deal. That's going. Losing every single 1v1 against Lancet and his ults because he's playing... Uh, just... He's, he's playing classes that are only slightly better than mine, and uh, it shows very much. And, uh, and, and, like, I make one mistake and then I'm dead. And it sucks. Oh, it's a bad feeling. Oh, Alright, let's keep it up. I mean, I, I can't, um... I mean, I, I, I don't really care too much about ranking, of course. Um, so really all that I'm doing here is just practicing, because I haven't played for a week. And he has, and he's way better than me because of that. So this is kind of forcing. Oh my god, he was just out of range of crows. Like, see, it's because of things like that. That's why I lose, because, like, he's just out of range of crows, or, uh, or this is happening, and it's just like... You know, or he's just healing himself consistently, because he is an Argent. I mean, that's what he's supposed to do. His target is too close. Yep, yeah, that sucks. I couldn't do anything there because of that. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on. Just move my character, please. No! Really? I don't think there's anything I can do here. Yeah. There's nothing I can do here. Ugh. These fights are so close, but he's just, he's always getting an opportunity to heal. See, now he's, he's opening up with... Come at me. Come at me. Oh no, I'm outside. Wait, what? Oh, I messed up. I used silence, but he, he, he had liberation up, so now I don't have silence for 30 seconds. Ah. Come on. No, 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 no. No, god damn it. God damn it. Come on, one time. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do, honestly. Yeah, this sucks. God damn it. Okay. 
That's my only opportunity to win. Oh my god, and I took it and I won. Jeez. I had one opportunity there to win, and that was to actually have a silence off when he added low health. And uh, luckily, I got a really good precision strike off at the end, too. Oh, I... Okay, he doesn't have that now, so I can take advantage of that, actually. <gasps> no! No, 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 I meant to press... I meant to press summon crows! Oh, now I don't even have a heal. No. Alright, I lost. Man, this sucks. This sucks so much. It's... Oh, and then it even put me really far away from him. The bug happened where... Ah, Jesus. Oh. Damn it. It's so hard. These are really, really tough fights. Yeah, every chance he gets, he's gonna heal. I don't know what I can be doing better. I think I, I, I think the only thing that's going bad in these fights is that I'm making mistakes. And then I see that I'm making a mistake, I know exactly when I make a mistake, and then I get really mad at myself. Every time I get super mad at myself for it. Uh, I shouldn't beat myself up over it. But, um, I mean, these are 1v1s, they don't matter. But, this is me trying to practice, and, and because I'm trying to practice and get better, because, you know, I've, again, I haven't played for a little while, simply because of that, I, I'm trying, like, I'm actually trying not to make mistakes. I'm actually mad at myself that I keep making mistakes, and uh, that's what I'm trying to fix here. I'm not even trying to win. I just want to make sure that I have a fight where I don't make mistakes. Even one will kill me. Especially against this class, too. Like, uh, fighting against a battle mage because of defense. Defense is so powerful. Shield block. Oh, God. I, I couldn't even follow it up. No frigid tracks for you. Okay, invincibility, that's fine. Ooh, that was a really good get out of the um, lightning meteor. Oh, he's not taking any damage right now. Jeez. Ugh. Every one of these fights is just taking so much out of me. Because I have to focus so hard in order to win. Or to do anything. Okay, let's be super aggressive here. No, 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 no. No, oh, come on. I don't want to fight that. No, not Curse of Thorns! Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Come on! I don't think I can win this fight, even though I, I just totally blew it with the arena buff. No, not invincibility. Come on. Nope. Fuck. God damn it, man. He actually popped invincibility twice during that fight. He actually managed to wait for invincibility to come back up. Ugh. They're actually changing invincibility, too. They're making it from a 9 second timer or duration to a 6 second duration with a lower cooldown. So I mean, I, honestly, all of these like defense aromancy builds are really getting nerfed hard. How did that hit? How did that miss? <sighs> Fuck off. Get out of there. I can't do it. I can't win. I can't fucking win! Oh my god. Fuck off. Come on. <sighs> 
Come on. No, like, look, I tried to... Come on. Like, I tried to backdrop, and it just doesn't work. Okay, my turn to do a little bit of damage, but I don't think it's going to be enough. There's the invincibility. There's a Curse of Thorns. Oh. He's immune. How did he get immune there? Wait, how did he get immune? He didn't have... Fuck! God damn it, how did he become immune? He has nothing to become immune. <sighs> Wait. He became immune. No, no, that was the... That was the ability. Over here somewhere. I did a bunch of stuff. Oh my god, defended, evaded, and missed. Ugh. That's the only reason. Because a whole bunch of those came up on the screen and I got very confused. Jeez, man. Defended, so he blocked it. Evaded, so he actually had agility and apparently evaded. That's very unlikely, but okay. And then missed because of uh, crows. Uh, I don't know why I'm using all my bruiser badges on this, when I really shouldn't be, but... I gotta get better. I have to stop making mistakes. And these are two classes that really punish you for making mistakes. Actually, that's not true. I'm just a class that can't make mistakes. I don't use Bond Breaker. I don't have Shrug It Off. I can't make mistakes. Period. Dot. If I make a mistake, I lose. So, um... In Raid vs. Raid, this isn't much of a big deal, but um, when, I, when I fight this hard in all the 1v1s, when I'm really pushing this hard in 1v1s to do very well and not make mistakes, then that's the sort of thing that helps my performance in Raid versus Raid more than anything else. Um, I, I, I mean, that's I see that a million times over in Raid vs. Raid, how, how well I perform for that stuff. Uh, unfortunately, we did miss Mist Marrow, but I'm having a lot more fun with these anyways, and Mist Marrow is probably just a one-sided fight, as it usually is for West, so nothing really fun there. Alright, still fighting against him. <sighs> A lot of people... F I, I know that Lancet says that he focuses on 1v1, tries to perform well in 1v1. Um, but no, I, I try to focus in, in Raid versus Raid, so... That's kind of what I do. But these are very 1v1s classes, and so I, I get it. I understand how that works. Shield block. Okay. Oh, that's right, he can't get tripped. Uh, I don't even know why I did that. He already used his God's Whip, so we're fine. He already used Retribution, so we're good on that. So I think we're okay to just aggress here. Come on. Is here? Curse of Thorns is a little bit weird there. Because he had he to have a big casting time for that, so... Um, that wasn't a really good move for him. Um, Nox, do you know why trying to disable Crosshair of Arenas? Because everybody was getting that band buff, the 24-hour the band buff, so they just disabled the Crosshair of Arenas completely. Um, no, I don't agree with it. No, it was a stupid move. I, I tried yelling at them about it. Um, so, yeah. That's their reasoning, though. And uh, I don't like it at all. Especially at a time when everybody is literally trying to play the video game because of holidays. They turned off the one thing that everybody really wanted and was happy about. Maybe it was the decision by Excel Games, I don't know. But uh, it was a dumb one and it shouldn't have happened. Oh no. I don't know, I gotta go this way. I can't fight in there.
That's like kind of praying, hoping that he doesn't. How would I have been there? Come on. <laughs> Come on, guy. There's no way that I would have been here. All right. Oh, no, he just popped the shield. That's really bad for me. Wait, I actually fine. Perfect. Per oh, wow, he actually managed to get that off. I'm actually not that afraid of the uh, retribution. Okay, I'm pretty afraid of the retribution. <laughs> okay, never mind, it's off anyways. Okay. <sighs> oh, man. Or you have the same bug, they didn't disable it for the holidays. So maybe it was then Tryon who wanted to do it. I don't know. Uh, it got fixed in a week. Oh, Japan got a fix in a week? As far as I know, nobody else has the fix. I haven't heard that Russia got it. Uh, Tryon does that to avoid their support to be harassed. Oh, that's a really good point, Nox. That's a really good point. Shit. That's a really fucking good point. Wait, that's 100%. Okay, I'm 95% sure that you got it on the spot there. That's exactly... Oh, my God. Oh, man. You haven't worked support, I take it? Well, nobody's there right now, right? I mean, they're trying to get as many people on holiday as they can. So they probably took their most... I mean, I put in a support ticket, and actually I got it answered within like a day, but uh, mine was just complaining and talking about the fact that uh, the turn-in for the mirror fragments was gone at midnight. Which they said, you know, yeah, we know. <laughs> that was pretty much their, their response. But... Um, I mean, to be fair, that would be the only real reason why I could see them turning it off because they think that their supports would, their support queue is going to get super spammed because of that stuff over the holidays. Um, uh, Nux, you think Big Data said that on Omnom Discord? Oh, I've been watching his Discord. Um, maybe he did. I don't know. I mean, I can search that really easy. I can say big data, dude. And then I can search. Uh, oh, I mean, never mind. I can't search that way. Uh, but, man, that actually makes sense. The, the, problem is, the problem is that it screws everybody over, you know? It screws over the players. Pretty crazy. <sighs> but they can't have, like, the problem is they're really trying to bring down their average uh, wait time for the for the uh, support tickets, right? Because, you know, for the support ticket guys, it's like uh, they have to keep their average wait time down as much as they can. So if they suddenly have a whole bunch of tickets in there that they just can't answer until, like, you know, because there's so many people talking about it, then their average wait time is going to go up over the holidays, and they don't want that. So that's probably part of it, I would guess. I don't know how they do it over a try -on, but that would be my, my guess at it. Uh, that sucks, though. It really does screw over the players, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows that and has seen how that affects it now. Because the Crest of Arenas are really, really good. And especially when we have, quite literally, a double Curios Badge Weekend stuff. And we can't use it at all. It just doesn't... So maybe they'll give it to us after, after the new year. I don't know. To make up for the fact that we didn't have Crest of Arenas, but... Honestly, I, I don't even see that being... I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think they're going to give us anything of that sort, like extended uh, events or anything for this. I just don't see it happening realistically. Oh, I, oh my god, though. Jesus. I just literally... Uh, how many fights did I have there? I'm about to find out, because I have 18 males. <laughs> I literally fought them. How many freaking badges did I use? I used five badges? That's it. Oh. So I played 10 times, I played 10 times, so I lost most, I lost like 80% of those 10 times. Oh my god, oh I got successful auction on this, yeah I guess I played that. Just consistently, lose, consistently losing against the Argent and the Battle Mage uh, that belong to uh, Lancet. But that's fine, better that I lose against him than somebody else. See I only, lo I only won twice in those battles, jeez. Oh, and then this was the uh, Gladiator Arena that I won. Oh man, it's so hard to fight against um, against Argents and against anything with defense occultism. It's super, super good. 
But hey, those are 1v1 classes, and um, if I can do that well against 1v1 classes, to the point where they're always really close fights, then I'm pretty happy considering I'm not a 1v1 class. I am a raid versus raid class by all means. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I just need to make less mistakes. Because I made it a lot of mistakes in those 1v1s that always was the thing that let me lose. And now I'm just like, ugh. Tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. Nox, you're saying, uh, it was a good feature for people who can't compete on PvP and returning players. Yeah, I mean, I talked about that a lot too. It's like, Cross Server Arenas was the make it or break it feature for this game. It was. Because it let all players play the video game reliably and practice any class they want reliably. I, st I mean, hey guys, please go to the f you know suggestion forums, the feedback forum, and go bump my post about getting rid of the bruiser badges and just making it so that there's no limits, or you know making it so that um, at the very least there's a limit on how much rewards you gain. So you just keep queuing forever, but at some point you stop gaining rewards. People can just queue forever and have fun that way. Anyways, go bump that post, guys. I mean, honestly, like that stuff is gonna make it or break it for new players because. You just need people to have fun, and it's hard to find stuff to have fun in this game with. Alright, so that's done. Um, I am, like, insanely tired, but I don't want to stop yet. Um, I don't want to stop. I, I want to find more stuff to do. What is there to do? Miss Mist Mirror, but uh, that's okay, because I'm sure nothing really happened there. Stutter, did anything happen over at Mist Mirror? Did, or were you over there uh, today? Was it just a one-sided thing? Did I miss anything by not going and fighting Lancet consistently for like an hour? <laughs> uh, oh man, should I just queue up for Gladiator Arena? Because I don't think I care about Gladiator Arena, right? Yeah, I definitely don't care about Gladiator Arena. Oh, I'm in 33rd place here. But I don't think that matters, right? Hold on one second, Lancet's messaging me here. Asking me about the bruiser badges. Uh, instead of your running cargo? Okay, that's cool. Fair enough. Yeah, I think mostly it's, it's kind of... Um, Uh, boring Miss Marrow nowadays anyways. Even though it is like Thursday and most people have this week off, but I think it would probably be kind of boring. <laughs> so that's fine. I had some really damn good fights against Lancet for a long time and uh, it's all recorded in the VOD, so if you want to go watch those over, uh, you know, feel free to. I'm gonna tell Lancet that as well. Alright, what do we do now? <laughs> I'm so tired, but I don't know what to do. What do I do? <sighs> Should I go into gladiator arenas? Oh my god. Okay, that was quick. I'm actually kind of scared of this. I don't think I really want to do gladiator arenas. I'll lose my 33rd place or whatever. <laughs> Not that I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna even get anything much out of that. So, maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> I literally told him, fuck off, in whisper. Uh, I feel bad. He knows I'm kidding, though. <laughs> uh... God damn it. Okay. Okay, so he should win every one of these fights if I'm going to continuously fight against him here. Just because of the gear difference, to be honest. Alright, here we go. I gotta go at him. 
I can't even let it, I can't let him use inspired stacks. No! Whoa, that was really good actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was kinda crazy. <sighs> Unsaleable. Fuck. Okay, he actually he's just like spamming bond breaker, because that was an instant bond breaker when I when I went and charged him. Shit. No, I was gonna Fuck off. Damn it all. Alright, I lose. Oh, that was an instant. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, there's not much I can do here. Oh, I... Shit. I have no opportunities to win against him. Absolutely none. Oh, I... Open world is different. Open world, if I catch him, it's pretty easy to kill him. But um, in a 1v1 scenario where it's just me and him, he's always going to win. It's mostly because of Argent, you know? He's playing a class that's, that's uh, it's counters to me. It counters me easily. Just like how Defense counters me with his Battle Mage. Those are the things that I do not go for in a Raid vs. Raid setup, right? Because I'm going against uh, uh, healers and mages and archers and in... In Raid vs. Raid, I'm not even worried about Auromancy for that. But, um... That's fine. It's mostly just me getting practice for this. But I don't want to ruin my rating in, in Gladiator Arena, because at least there... Uh, I only went down to 41, well... At least there I'll get some kind of a reward, right? Let me see. Is it even worth it? I get 20 Curios badges. Wait, that's it? I get 20 Curios badges? That's... That's really low. Like, I could just do this five times a day, lose five times a day, and I'll get the same reward out of that. Plus, I get to have a lot of fun doing it. And I, if I do four wins, then that's the same as this. Okay. I already had one win, so I've already made up that that price. Uh, how many Curious Badges would, have got, would I have gotten from Sparring Arena if I had won the lowest amount? Like, 50. Oh, so I'm actually fine. Like, I don't really care to be on this list at all. Yeah, I don't care about this list at all. It doesn't doesn't really matter. Because 50, fine, whatever. I'll just queue up a whole bunch of arenas and I'll get more doing that instead of not queuing up at all and getting the 50 I would have gotten anyways. Yeah, there's no point. But I don't want to keep fighting Lancet. Because um, he's just going to kill me every single time. Uh, with his Bond Breaker, with Shrug It Off, it's the same as fighting a Dark Runner. He's going to get the first move every single time. And because of his gear, um, he's going to win every time because of that. Oh, I, so that sucks. Now I can't do 1v1s. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going up against him. Um, can I do Free For All Arena? I don't think people will queue up for th Free For All Arena. Let's see. I haven't done Free For All in a long, long time. Where exactly is the arena shop? Oh, it's right here. It's, that's at the bottom of the arena menu. The arena UI. It's not the most ideal place for a shop, but that's where it is. It's funny you can't access it from the arena guy either. Actually, maybe you can. Uh, can you access it from the arena manager? No, you can't. Well, you can, kind of. You, you'd go to this menu and then you click arena shop. What about the honor point guy? Nah. Okay. Alright. So, does anybody on our server do free for all arenas? Uh, no, wow, it's insanely empty. These guys here have done it three times, three to four times. These guys here have done it five to ten times. If not, like, a, a ridiculous amount. But it's mostly just the player nation fighting themselves from the looks of it, and it's always the same people. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to get into a free-for-all arena, because they're probably queuing only when they want to. Jeez. 
What do I even need Curios badges for? Um, why am I so crazy about getting Curios badges? I'm not even sure. Do I need any of this stuff? Nah. I want this stuff, obviously. The titles. But, like, the titles only give me 3% crit rate. I have... 57.6%. I'm not really starving at crit rate here. Um... If I wasn't a crit build, these titles would be great, because then you're, you're really pushing yourself up past the limit that you weren't expecting to get. I don't really care too much. But this is, I guess, the only thing that I would be getting with the titles, right? This is the titles, because I don't need any of these. Hopefully, I really don't need another Anthem of Battle Rage, because mine is Celestial. And I have a 75% chance to take it up, because I have a Dune's Blessing. But I'm not going to risk it. Like, I... This game has had a knack of destroying my luck uh, when it comes to that kind of stuff, and because this is a high-value loss, I cannot risk this even in the slightest. So I'll wait until a regrade event or something. Maybe they'll make it so that Celestial is worth more, and then I'll regrade it and should be fine. Uh, same with my belt as well. Too much of a high-value loss, even with the Dune's Blessing. That's like a 50% chance right now to, to, to take the belt up with the Dune's Blessing, but again... It's not worth it. And I can have a Celestial Belt just fine, because it doesn't contribute to the leather or Divine buff, so it's all good. Um, so I'm in a good place there. I think the only thing, yeah, I need Curious Badges for is for uh, tokens. Oh, so I guess I don't even care. Let's just queue up again. <laughs> Fuck it, let's just fight Lancet. I don't even care. Let's just lose a whole lot against Lancet. I'm not trying to win anything here. I'm just trying to provide content for you. Sup, buddy? Why? But obviously at this point it's, it's just gear that's letting him win. Um, I can't even use charge. What am I supposed to do to kill him? I can't even follow it up with, with summon crows because he's going to pop bond breaker so quickly. I have to get the first move, but like every dark runner, I'm unable to do that against him. He's more dark runner than I am too. There's my first move. Okay. Oh, uh, now I'm dead. Wait, what? Oh, wow, he actually didn't heal at all there. Oh, I lost. Oh, I don't know what made it so that he wouldn't take any damage, but um, it's probably just the fact that he's using a shield. Well, he uses his shield when he wants to kill me. <laughs> he uses his dual, wiel dual wielding when he doesn't really want to win against me, but he switches the shield when he wants to win. I know him, because he's told me that. Oh, he's using liberation as well. Oh, yeah, there's no way I can win. Unfortunately. Oh, it's tough. Um. Oof, distress OP. Yep. Stress OP. Um, I, uh, your belt contributes, right, to the buff? It enlarges the buff? Nope. Um, the, bu the belt is a cloth belt, so it does not contribute to a leather buff. And that's, that's the same as all those things. So the only things that contribute to a leather, divine leather armor, is leather. And that's it. So it doesn't matter whether I have the belt or not. The health is going to remain the same. Uh, and even if this thing was... Um, mythic, it still wouldn't give any anymore. If this thing was arcane, it wouldn't be lowering the buff down from divine because it's technically not leather. Right? Same thing with my uh, wrists, if that makes any sense. So, does that sort of answer your question there, um, Aya? Yeah, I can't fight Lancet and win. It doesn't, it doesn't feel fun to lose constantly either, so I don't want to do that. But uh, he's the class that essentially just counters mine because of Aromancy, so, yep. Yep, no problem. Yeah, you didn't know, notice the cloth. Oh, I gotcha, okay. I see. Yeah, because I'm using two cloths. Two cloth pieces out of hilarity, because I like to grab people out of uh, thin air from 25 meters. And because of the uh, Shadow Song one is so powerful. Oh, I don't want to go back in. <laughs> I don't want to keep fighting Lancet. Uh, I... I can lose against him. I guess I'm trying to convince myself to go back in, but I don't want to. Like I don't want to consistently lose because that's not fun either. 
And in those fights, it's not really going to matter. I need to fight him like on a raid versus raid battlefield and just like out in the open where I have my mounts and I can use my pets and I can use my glider and I can use all the different things available to me because like I have all these things that I do in order to benefit myself in open world um, and make myself be able to fight multiple people and stuff. But um, I can't do that on 1v1. Just me and him. Nobody likes using pets. Not on the, not on the North America servers. Oh, Argent Mingo is a, is a, it's a 1v1 class, that's what it is. It's great in, in Raid versus Raid if you have the gear, but so is any class, right? But it is a 1v1 class. To and fro. And, and Lance says, you know, his focus is 1v1. That's what he does. He likes Raid versus Raid, but he does, he, he sort of, he really pushes 1v1 more. And that's, that's fine. I'll, you know, that's what Dark Runners do, that's what Enigmatists do, this is, this is what they do. So it's, it's nothing unusual or anything, it's fine. It's a perfectly fine way to play. Um, and I am a hybrid class for that matter, and I was playing a hybrid class with Outrider too, and um, and it works. It's it's nothing about hybrid classes. It's that hybrid classes can be powerful if you have the gear, right? Because you'll just do the damage anyways. And in his ca in his case, he's just using healing, so that's fine. It's not nothing bad. It's perfectly like it. it if people look at the videos or watch me stream and say, oh, you're fighting an Argent, you should win, that's not true. <laughs> the Argent's going to win every time. The fact that I was still able to, to win against him in the balanced arenas at all was, was good. And um, it's a testament that I, I'm doing stuff correct, but I'm still trying to be better. Um, Stutter, there needs to be a pet arena. I would love a pet arena. That would actually be great. Especially, like, I actually like microing pets, because I, I have the important stuff on key bindings. So, man, I would love to have an actual pet arena. Uh, Mango healing shouldn't be that good. So they're changing things up. In 4.5, they're making it so healing isn't... I don't know if healing is changing or not. I guess it depends on the skills and everything, right? Because they're kind of changing Songcraft and Vitalism a bit. But healing is really powerful right now. I think everybody agrees with that. And what they're doing... I actually kind of like this. Instead of targeting the healing spells... I actually agree with this. The problem isn't the healing being too powerful. The problem is that when you heal yourself, you heal yourself for like 20k. <laughs> and you actually have that amount of missing health. So what they're doing in 4.5 is they're actually reducing maximum health uh, gains. So like health lift doesn't work like that anymore. Um, I guess very, by my understanding, they're, they're reducing health gains across the board. So maybe even stamina is changing in terms of how much health it gives you. Because they don't like it when you have like 30, 40k health. And then in a raid versus raid fight, if you're almost dead, you just heal back up to full, and suddenly you've just gained 40k health again. Um, and I and I kind of agree with that. I think that that's a little bit too powerful, especially in raid versus raid. So um, that's one of the things that's changing, and, and I kind of like that as a way to target against healing, like as, as a way to like, because obviously it makes healing less efficient, right? If you have a really high healing, but you just cannot. You can never actually give yourself over, you know, the 40k health that you have, or the 20k health that you have, then what's the point of having really high healing if you're just, you're okay with using smaller amounts of healing? So, I don't know if any of that makes sense. I'm really tired after like 15 to 20 1v1s, <laughs> but hopefully that gives you some idea of why I kind of like that, uh, that approach to nerfing healing by making it less efficient. We'll see what uh, ends up happening. So healers are still good against like, um, you know, for healing your 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 people who are really squishy because it'll just heal them to full. But now you just can't heal 40k instantly or anything like that. Like you see with paladins who have really high gear score or uh, argents with really high gear score, like we just saw. That kind of stuff. Um. All right. What else? Should we keep going? <laughs> I don't want to keep going up against him. It's like running into a brick wall every time. Um, and it's only because he's using the shield. I'm actually surprised that he wasn't using the Kraken uh, ability. I was really expecting him to use it a lot. And it was actually my fault for expecting that. Because I was playing differently because of it. I was playing differently expecting him to use the Kraken's shield to um, stealth. But he didn't. And so I was making mistakes unknowingly because I was playing slightly differently. Um, but that's fine. That's okay. Oh, I... Maybe I'm just tired. <laughs> I think I'm really tired after like a couple hours of just 
straight 1v1s, constantly losing against Argents and Battle Mages, which are two really good, good class against me. I think I'm gonna take a break. Um, Mango Senpai, you just face class, cheese classes with vital witchcraft and vitalism. Any quick slap swaps to club for low health. Oh, you're facing cheese classes with witchcraft and vitalism. Yeah, luckily witchcraft isn't a big deal for me because of silence. And stillness also removes fear effects, which is nice. But I don't use retribution because I think it's too much. Um, 4.5 is removing immunity to fear, so I'm not going to use that. Um, I, I mean, obviously, you know, Mango 4.5 ho will hopefully, with all the skill changes, with all the gear changes, the the whole meta changes, everything changes. So we'll see how that sort of makes the game better or worse in Korea. Um, I'm actually seeing really positive sort of reviews against the ideas so far. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. That's why I keep encouraging people to keep practicing constantly for the 4.5 patch, because that's really going to change up the game so much. Start practicing early, and you'll get better at it then. Uh, Mango Fear is hard, but it's more than uh, more that he heals from both Witchcraft combo and Vitalism. Uh, plus his full plate. Yeah, well, if anybody's plates and like sparring arena and such, and you're melee, you're dead. It, it's that's a rock paper scissors thing there. So it's true. That, that's the big problem. Uh, what was I gonna say? I, I had a thought, but I forgot what it was. Uh, four point five. What was I talking about? Four point five stuff. Blah blah blah. Oh man, I cannot remember what I was trying to. I had like a really good thought actually, but I, I forgot what it was. Oh, just some gladiator. Jeez, full play with that, yeah. That sucks. It's not fun to fight against. But that's that's what people do, obviously. You know, they do have to farm curious badges and such, so you can't really blame them. That's, that's the meta right now. If you wanna if you wanna win, that's what you do. You can play anything at sparring, so you take it with a grain of salt, I guess. I mean it still sucks that you know, play it against melee in in sparring just makes it impossible to win. I do love 3v3s, though. I'm still very happy about 3v3s and how they are, but again, no cross-server arenas. Christmas is ruined. <laughs> we can't use that at all. So, um, yeah. Unfortunately, 3v3s are not popping lately. Um, let's see. What else? What other interesting stuff? What was the thing? I, I had like, a thought that I was going to say that was really good. Was it along the lines of practicing early? Because, yeah, seriously, practice early. Yeah, it was actually. It was along those lines. I said, practice early. Start playing classes differently now. And then, um... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, we only just heard the other day that apparently block, parry, and evasion are not going to work the same way in 4.5. So not only when you get snared, does your character... You're, you're unable to turn around your character. So snare is almost like a stun for melees. But block, parry, and evasion, all those things, they don't actually block abilities. They only block an amount of damage, a, a, some kind of percentage of damage, which based on the screenshot was like 25%, or maybe like 33%, but maybe it's based on something else, or maybe they'll change it, I don't know. But anyways, those things are not going to actually make you immune to moves anymore just by facing the target. They're going to make it so that you only absorb uh, some portion of damage, which is awesome. Like, that's something that I've been shouting about forever, because that removes the RNG from, uh, from, from fighting a lot. It makes Raid versus Raid a little bit more understandable, what's going on. It makes 1v1 a little bit more enjoyable, because it's not just down to RNG. It's still kind of down to RNG in terms of crits and stuff. But they're kind of removing the RNG from block parry innovation, so I'm pretty thrilled about that. Um... So yeah, we'll see, we'll see what that means. I don't actually know if that means that you can block debuffs as well. Like if somebody casts something on you that would snare you, but you blocked it. Even though you take less damage instead of just taking no damage. I don't know whether or not it actually makes you immune to the debuffs. Um, so we'll see. We'll find out more information. But, um, man, that's a huge change. That's, that's a very serious change they're making to this game. Like they're really, really going hard against how, how crazy tanks are in terms of, you know, really high health pools, 
uh, really crazy blocking and such. They're changing the formulas for how blocking, pairing, and evasion gets cal calculated at all. They're changing the whole whole equation there. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff coming. Uh, people are really going to have to kind of relearn the game no matter what they play. So we'll see how it feels. Um, um, I'm very excited for Kun Kun streaming it, hopefully uh, next month, as well as other people streaming it. Because uh, I want to see how the uh, Koreans sort of play around all the changes, and what they think about it and such. And I'm sure before we actually get in our region, they'll still go around and tweak a lot of skills and everything uh, before it actually comes to, to North America EU. So we'll see. Oh, I... <laughs> I'm tired. All right. I think Mark is also going through and, and translating those recent patch notes. So uh, not patch notes, but the the blog that uh, uh, XL Games put out. Mango Senpai, you're excited to see what it feels like to have 32% evasion as DR. Oh man, you gotta take this thing then. You gotta take the consecutive evasion. That's really good. Not evasive counter strike though. Although you could try it and see if it's any good. I guess it's good for stacking bloodthirst. But evasive counter strike is or I'm sorry. Consecutive evasion is actually really good. For the same reason that the blocking is really good. Uh okay. Alright, I think I'm tired. <laughs> I think I'm done. Uh, it, it, for anybody that's just tuning in right now, I just played like two hours of 1v1s. So, um, and I lost most of them because, you know, they were against classes that should always, always win against me. But they were, every single one of those fights was really, really good. So I do encourage you, if you want to see some good 1v1s against classes that generally don't fight against each other normally, go check out the, um, go check out the VOD after the stream. You can see all that stuff. Um, and then I said I was going to do some giveaways, so let's give something away. I don't know. i got to get rid of a couple things here, so let's do that really quickly. So if you'd like to be a, a part of a giveaway, what I'm going to be doing first is giving away an Alabaster Paranor Silks costume. So that's the um, that white tuxedo-looking thing on males, or the dress on, on females. So if you want to be a part of that giveaway for the Alabaster Paranor Silks, uh, just type the word um, PvP in chat. And, uh, and and we'll choose somebody randomly from there. So type PvP in chat if you want to be uh, a winner of the Alabaster Paranor Silks costume. Hopefully one of you guys will get it. I know we don't have too many people watching right now. I know it's kind of a... Uh, I, I'm just kind of streaming whenever I can this week, but um, this is also the last stream of the year, so i got to get some stuff out of the way in terms of giveaways. So whoever's watching and, and actually wants this stuff, feel free to uh, type PvP in chat. We'll get you that. Um, Mango Senpai 4.5, they changed the passive to flat 10% constant instead of an RNG melee proc. Wait, what? In 4.5, they changed the passive to a 10. Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot they removed this. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I, for some reason in my head, I thought you, were, you meant you're playing right now as a 32% evasion DR and that you're just like messing around with this right now. But never mind. You mean for 4.5, I get it now. All right, so I have one of these to give away. So uh, we're just gonna we're gonna do the roll in 30 seconds here. And so if it's just the two of you guys who are queued up for the Alabaster Printer Silks costume, that's fine. We'll just give it away to one of you guys, and then we'll give away uh, one of the Poinsettia Winter Festival costumes. Uh, in fact, since I have one of each available, whoever wins this one can choose what they get. So whoever wins this roll will get either the poinsettia or the alabaster. Just let me know which one you want. And uh, I'll get that over to you. And then we'll do another roll that will be the opposite one, whichever one wasn't chosen. All right. Cool. I'm super tired. Sorry, I'm like, I'm like out of breath uh, because it's just been a, it's been a tough stream, man. Really had a focus really hard. Uh, Mega Senpai, 32% at the moment is really hard. You'd have to go full agility and have earrings, have evasion and costume, all that stuff. Yeah, I guess that's true. You'd have to put, like, I think the biggest thing is you'd have to get um, the old glove gems, or whatever, that you'd have to put on the uh, on your gloves, which is not really possible anymore unless you already had them, so. Uh, but I guess 4.5 reintroduces those gems, or is supposed to, so I guess you'd be able to do it then. Um... Oh, you got the old gem, so you could, I guess, yeah. Alrighty. Alright, let's do the giveaway here. 3 for 3%. Oh, you actually have them, right? Wow. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, like, I don't have a lot of evasion at all. I have 15.3%. 
but that's because of my agility, right? Alright, let's do the roll. Winner is Stutter. So Stutter, congratulations. Let me know which of the costumes you want. The Poinsettia or the Alabaster Paranor Silks. Uh, whichever one you want. Yeah, I got ripped by 50%. Um, so how about this? Mango, you know, you're an avid streamer. You hang out every now and then too. Um, although, you know, it's been a little while since I've seen you. Why don't I go ahead and give you the other one? So, um, so Stutter. You'll choose whatever costume you want, the Poinsettia Winter Festival or the Alabaster Perrin or Silks. And uh, Mango, you'll get the other one. If you don't want it, Mango, you can let me know, but you can also gift it to somebody that you know, like a friend or someone. So feel free to use these codes, you know, for, for the, the holidays and such. <laughs> Stutter, you've got four Poinsettias. All right, no problem. So Stutter, let me put you in for the Alabaster. And then uh, Mango Senpai, do you want to get the Poinsettia costume? I gotta get rid of them because uh, I'm not gonna be streaming until the end of the year and these are gonna expire, I think. You'll take anything. <laughs> no problem. Mingo, I, I know I know the feels. Um, Stutter Stepper needs to be given. There we go. And then um, Mango, I will give you the other one. Needs to be given. So as usual, you guys both know the, the drill for this. Uh, you'll get the codes in your Twitch messaging inbox, which you can get to uh, just uh, on the right, top right of your screen. If you click your name and in the drop down menu, there's the messages box. You'll see it there. Also, make sure to check the other box in there, like the spam box, because uh, those, those messages tend to go into spam as well. <sighs> All right, cool. I think I'm done now. <laughs> I'm really tired, guys. Um, again, go check out the, the VOD if you want to see really good 1v1s. Really, really tough fights, and you hear about me complaining about my mistakes constantly, because that's all I'm ever trying to do, is get better and, and make less mistakes. Otherwise, I think I'm going to be out. Let me let me go to Big Cam here. I know... Um... Hi, it's dark in my room and stuff, because my bird is sleeping. So uh, I'm going to be heading out here. I'm out until the rest of the year, and I'll maybe be back like... Um... Thursday, maybe like a week from now I'll do a stream. I don't know. It's going to be tough, guys. There's stuff going on constantly, every single day. So uh, whenever I can stream, I'll do it. Um, but, you know, don't get your hopes up because <laughs> it's, it's a tough week, obviously. I think everybody can understand that. So I'll see you guys when I see you. But uh, at the very least, I will see you all next year because I will not be streaming until then. So thank you guys all for watching, uh, and I'll see you all then. Good day. Bye-bye.